Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. We were able to go out last night and spend uh, the evening at dinner with our grandson and our family. Um, our grandson turned 12 yesterday, Gage, and so uh, happy birthday to him, of course. I'm going to read to you from a revival today. And this is for October 9th. This is October 9th, 1871. Another fire. And of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. And that's Jude 22 and 23. When the great Chicago fire erupted, Ira Sankey escaped the city in a rowboat. Along with many others out on Lake Michigan, he watched as flames engulfed the vast city. In his mercy, God sent rain on the evening of October 9th that would assist in putting out this horrible fire. Over 300 people lost their lives and one-third of the population were left homeless. For months, preachers like Sankey and Moody would spend hours upon hours trying to help people recover and assist in any way they could. Their great desire, though, through it all, however, was to rescue men's souls from an awful fire still to come. If we really believed in an eternal place called hell, we would do everything within our power to tell others of the only way to escape. We would not worry what people think about us or how many would laugh. We would not think about our awkwardness or, or timidness. Nothing would keep us from getting the message to as many as possible in as many places as possible. Many today do not like to talk about hell. It's too negative and it causes fear. But Jesus spoke much more about hell than he did heaven. There are 239 warnings in the New Testament alone about this terrible place. We simply must not ignore this subject. The wicked shall be turned into hell and the nation that forgets God. And that's Psalm 917. The way of escape is not through religion, good deeds, or sterling character. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, and that's Acts 4.12. Show someone the escape route today. Don't wait until it is everlasting too late. The, um, <clears throat> of course, we all make our choice. What we want to believe, what we decide is real, what we think maybe possibly is not. And there are some things that we may never know truly until we uh, cross that barrier from a life here as we know it unto what we would call death. But I thank God that uh, it is said in the scripture that we have passed from death unto life. Whatever it is that lays out there ahead of us when we leave here, if it was not important enough for Jesus to warn people about it, then I would say that it's not important for us to either. But it was. It was important. And you can, you can theologically walk it away or attempt to in your own mind. You can say that he really meant Hell as an illustration of a garbage dump outside the city. You can, you can try to make it disappear as much as you want to try. But somewhere along the line, if it wasn't important for man to steer clear of that place, Jesus never would have mentioned that. This song is one that I've heard when I was uh, just a boy. My dad 
would sing and I would sing with him, harmony to him, and he had me to learn this song. I've never forgot it just for the words of it. Listen to the words. This is for you and this is for me today as we try to witness or maybe have a lack of desire to witness to others around us. When in the better land Before the bar we stand How deeply grieved our souls will be If any lost one there should cry in deep despair you never mentioned him to me you never mentioned him to me nor help me the light to see day by day and you knew I was astray yet never mentioned him to me oh let us spread the word where'er it may be heard help groping souls the light to see that yonder none may say you showed me not the way you never mentioned him to me you never mentioned him to me nor help me the light to see. You met me day by day, and you knew I was astray, yet never mentioned him to me. A few sweet words may guide, a lost one to his side or turn sad eyes on Calvary so work as days go by that yonder none may cry you never mentioned him to me you never mentioned him to me, nor help me the light to see. You met me day by day, and you knew I was astray, yet never mentioned him to me. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. And God, I pray that you will help us, Lord, to not to minimize uh, something that the Word of God stresses the importance of us steering clear of. God, I pray that you will help us to shine the light to others that are lost so they can see their need for salvation. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Thursday.